Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Benton. You know what the world needs? A GTA 4 reaction video. So here I am. Let's do this. Oh, by the way, I was a cop for 10 years, so I will be viewing this through that lens. I'm starting it right now. Missing the R there. Saying, yeah, this is New York City. The graphics are still pretty good for 2008. Life is complicated. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. Perhaps here, things will be different. Man. Wow. This is f***ing serious. I like this guy already. He said, Life, Life is, is complicated. complicated. That's the truth. Life is full of moral dilemmas with no clear-cut right or wrong decision. I feel like a lot of people nowadays don't understand that. Sometimes you have to use violence to protect other people. You gotta hurt people. And I can see how somebody who's never been in a situation like that wouldn't understand it. People aren't all bad or all good. Everybody is somewhere in between on the spectrum. I like characters that exemplify both traits, maybe leaning a little bit more towards the dark side. This guy says he's killed, killed people. people. I wouldn't say he's just like an indiscriminate murderer, probably like ex-military or something like that. But I've never actually played this game. I could be wrong. As a cop, I never killed anybody. Typically, when I was working, I was like a good luck charm. If I was there, nothing bad ever happened. Some people are the exact opposite. I'll be honest though, I kind of wish I had stories like this guy. When I was a teenager, I joined the Navy and tried to become a Navy SEAL. I didn't make it, I dislocated my shoulder and got kicked out. So no war stories from a battle veteran here. He says that he smuggled, smuggled people. people. Obviously, this was before Biden's border policies, so you still had to be kind of sneaky about it. I guess this was even like a crime back then too. He sold, sold people. people. Ah, that's pretty dark. I've done some bad stuff in my day. I've never done that. This would have been way out of my league as an officer. I would have had to call in the detectives for this. They would have brought in the investigative services team and vice detectives, you know, that kind of thing. Notify the chief, all that. And then he says, perhaps, perhaps here, things, things will be different. Be different. I get the feeling that they're not going to be. As somebody who's moved around a lot myself, I can tell you there is some truth to that. Changing your circumstances can be a good way to change your behavior by eliminating the familiar triggers that cause the behavior, especially in the case of like an addiction or something. But in the end, you're still going to be the same person. I told myself that I wouldn't let my kids eat so much candy here in Miami. And well, you know how that goes. Judging by the accent and the way that this guy looks, he's probably somewhere from Russia or Eastern Europe. That is a hard part of the world. I was friends with a Russian kid in high school, and he was a badass, just like this guy. Back in the motherland, he was a boxer. I was a wrestler. He joined the wrestling team. I used to beat up on him pretty bad. But had this have been boxing, the roles would have been reversed. I remember we used to get showers after wrestling practice. Naked showers. I remember thinking to myself, man, this Russian kid has a very weird looking dick. It looked like an aardvark. However, as I got older, I realized that the joke was on me. I was the one with the weird looking dick. The only reason that my dick looked like a mushroom and not an aardvark was because of a surgery I had as a baby. A surgery that most of the world just doesn't bother with. And for good reason, if you ask me. His aardvark dick was a gift from Mother Nature or a higher power with a sense of humor, depending on what you want to believe. But anyway, this place is clearly New York City. Great city. Love it. Haven't been there in years, though. I'd say it's the perfect vibe for this kind of game. Sort of dark, dingy, cold, foggy. This looks like the most serious video game game I've ever seen. I'm excited for when this game comes out. I will be the first in line to buy it when it does. Thanks for watching. I'm Sam Benton. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.